Hello, Dr. Ricky Peterson here. I want to talk to you today about what happens to your immune system as you get older. Now, this won't be a very long video, but I want you to make sure you listen to the whole thing because it starts out with the bad news, but it ends with really good news, okay? So don't just go, ugh, bad news and run away, okay? So that's, that's our agreement, good. So there's something that occurs as we get older, it's called immunosenescence, which basically means that your immune system stops working as well as it should. And this can translate into um, a less good response from getting a vaccine, as an example. Also, it puts you at risk for any new virus that comes uh, your way. As I'm taping this, we're still in the the COVID pandemic, although kind of winding down a bit. And uh, as you probably well know, that the population most at risk are people who are older. And it has to do with this immunosenescence. Just remember there's good news at the end. So our thymus gland is uh, about right here in your chest. And it produces a lot of your immune cells. Now, an interesting thing that happens, again, here's the bad news, but uh, once you hit puberty, the size of your thymus gland starts to decrease such that by the time you're middle-aged, there's only 15% of it left. Uh, the rest of it is fat. And so, of course, with only 15% less, you're producing less of your white blood cells that fight infection, also less what's called memory T cells. So they're only ca they're called T cells because the thymus, a word that begins with a T, produces them. So no mystery there. But what memory T cells are about is that when you've had an infection, uh, your body has a memory of that. So the bad guy is called an antigen and then your body makes what's called antibodies against that antigen to defend you. And when you have a nice robust number of memory cells, if that virus or bacteria comes your way again, the body goes, oh, I remember you, you're a bad guy, and it just mounts a good response uh, very quickly, and so you don't even get sick. And that's in a part of your immune system called the adaptive immune system, and it's, it's brilliant. However, again, as with age and a decreasing size of this thymus and decreasing amount of these memory T cells, you're not doing that as well anymore. So, okay, so that's all the prob that's all the problems. <laughs> now let's talk about the good news. So, um, we know and we've, oh, I've been talking about it a lot lately, some basic ways to increase your immune system. Uh, a good diet, you can go back and look at uh, earlier videos on immunity boosting. You can go to the website, rootcausemedicalclinics.com and talk about a lot of different nutrition and diet and food. And these are very valid. So having a good diet and not smoking and um, having a good weight and decreasing your stress response, something I will admit I'm working personally on right now, uh, getting good sleep. So these are all very valid ways of boosting your immune system. And then the last way is getting exercise. And that's what I wanna talk about. So, because there are some really exciting studies that speak to exercise in kind of an amazing way uh, and what I love about this particular study I want to mention, I'm going to mention two, but one of them speaks to the fact that even if you were not a lifelong exercise person, that you adopted it later in life, that was still just fine. Your body did not um, hold a grudge in any way for you being maybe a little more of a couch potato in your early years, meaning you can still gain this benefit. So I'm gonna just look down at my notes. So this was in 2018. It was in uh, a research journal called Aging Self. And what they looked at were cyclists, so people who, who got on a bicycle, and they were aged in the study 55 to 79. 
and what they found was with moderate exercise. So moderate is about 45 minutes a day. It's not like you're running a marathon. Um, 45 minutes a day, as many days of the week as possible. So you're getting your heart rate up, but you're not, you know, it's not exhausting. It's, it's a very doable level of exercise. And what they found out in these individuals was that the size of their thymus gland was normal. It had not decreased in size. And the amount of immune cells they produced were on par with a 20 year old. So this is pretty miraculous data. And so again, they found that a lot of these cyclists had adopted cycling later in life. So again, it's a real testament to the regenerative abilities of the human body. So even though maybe obviously these, these thymuses had decreased in size, they were willing to increase again and produce immune cells and really defend you. The other study was um, from July 2012. This was an aging research review and they found, again, moderate exercise, so not a particular type, but moderate exercise increased your T cells, decreased your inflammation, and delayed what's called immunosenescence, which is, again, this decrease in immune response. So pretty exciting, right? And this is something you can use if you're, you know, 40s and above. Uh, you can share with, if you're, you know, in your 20s, you can share with your parents and grandparents this beautiful result of exercise and how it enhances immune response. So I hope you find that beneficial. It's certainly something that costs nothing to do and has truly amazing results. So I'm hoping this finds you in good health. If there's anything about your health that's not the way you want it to be, um, this time of our pandemic is really bringing to our attention the value of getting healthier as it prevents so many different aspects of negative health and immune frailty, if you will. So if you're a type two diabetic, addressing that. If you've got weight to lose, addressing that. If you have heart disease, addressing that. Fatty liver, all these things that are diseases of lifestyle that really can be remedied in, in the main, in the majority of cases, it's, it's exciting. And I think what these studies speak to is it's never too late. And that is really a beauty that we see here day in and day out at the clinic, which is, and I say this to patients all the time, it's like your body doesn't hold a grudge. Its ability to repair is beautiful. And um, anyway, I hope you find this as exciting as I do. Please reach out if you want a consultation. We're delighted to help. And the telephone number here is 408-733. 0400. We'll talk to you soon.